guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2017 San Diego Comic Con, and I'm here with Dan Lujan at the Coda Bokia booth to check out some of the newest products on display. So how's it going, Dan? Hey, Dan, nice to see you again. It's just like old times. You know, know every every I time see. this year we get together to talk about what's going on here That's at the booth. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's been a really great kind of like ongoing tradition yeah. of ours. And uh, how's the show been going for you? Been pretty yeah. good? A lot of traffic. We already sold out of one of our exclusives. Oh, nice. So it actually almost seemed like record time. So... Uh, we still got another one, very limited quantities of that. So, yeah, it's been good for us. Excellent. And yeah. it looks like you got some exciting new things here in the case to show us. So do. why don't we start running down what we got over here with the Marvel stuff. So we've got our Bishojo line. And as you know, our Bishojo line uh, roughly translates the Pretty Girl, Beautiful Woman, artwork by Shunya Yamashita. Uh, you've reviewed many of these pieces. Yeah. So I think you're very familiar with what we're doing here. Uh, our next Marvel Bishojo is going to be Miss Marvel. And you can see this is a, a factory sample, so this is the final product on her base. And then for the first time ever, we've just announced that we're doing Captain Marvel. Nice. Yeah. And I think it's so timely with how she's going to be entering into the Marvel Cinematic Universe Absolutely. in a couple of years. So, yep. And we've been seeing a lot of requests for her. So uh, real excited to see how Captain Marvel comes together next year. Excellent. Yeah. And then um, for our Artifacts Plus line, Artifacts Plus one-tenth scale, usually magnets in the feet to, you know, so you can position them wherever you'd like on the included base. Uh, I think you've reviewed most of these, actually. There's just yes. a few more that, that haven't come out yet. So this is the entire Spider-Man Artifacts Plus collection. Uh, Carnage is going to be hitting retailers now. After Carnage, it'll be uh, Spider-Man 2099 and then Venom. So Venom will be out uh, probably October, November of this year. We've also got a special uh, Thunderbolts limited edition. We had some on our website that's already sold out. We have another vendor that's uh, taking orders for that. It's really their exclusive. If you type in Kotobuki a Thunderbolts edition uh, uh, Agent Venom, it'll pop up so you can oh. uh, find out where to pre-order that. Okay, very yeah. cool. And then after Spider-Man, we're happy to announce for the first time ever that we're going to be doing the Defenders. Oh. Yes. Oh, nice. So this is based off of the comic book looks. Um, but, of course, with all the energy p being put into the Netflix series, there's going to just be a lot of new fans coming on board for the Defenders, and hopefully we can get some of that uh, some of that business with our Defenders Artifacts Plus line. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So that's going to that's gonna contain Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist? Yes, all four of those characters. And we're having the artwork, the concept artwork, done by Dale Kiln. Okay. So uh, just a very prestigious, established comic book artist. It was a lot, a lot of fun working with him. Uh, he's just finalizing the artwork, so probably after the show, uh, we'll start showing the final artwork. What you see here is a very rough sketch. Right. And then I'm happy to say even after that, we'll be continuing with another Artifacts Plus collection. I can't say much, but I will give you an exclusive. It will be done by Adi Gravnov, the artwork. Oh, very cool. So we're going back to Adi. As you know, Adi did the first Avengers series, yep. and he did the X-Men series. So we're coming back to Adi. Uh, Stefano Casali did the Spider-Man artwork, and then Dale doing the Defenders, of course, but we're going back to Adi. So hopefully by New York Comic Con, we'll be able to make that announcement, and okay. it's going to be a big line. So just a lot of energy being put into Marvel Artifacts Plus. That's excellent. It's such a great statue line, and just even like seeing all the Spider-Man statues together, and it's a great collection. Yeah, and as, as you can see, we're using the same artist, too. So the same artist, uh, Abisan, who started with the Avengers line, is and then did X-Men is doing Spider-Man Defenders and will be working on the new Adi line that's coming up. So oh. you got that continuity of scale and just general look too yeah. going on, but we're bringing in other artists to just kind of mix it up a bit. Excellent. Yeah. All right. And then this is uh, for our, our larger scale fans, Artifacts, one six scale. Uh, we've got some movie uh, properties in here. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Star-Lord. He's gonna come with a switchable head so you can just display him as you see here or with the mask on. Oh. And that, that baby Groot figure, it, it's magnetized. So you can take him off the shoulder. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to display him with Groot on his shoulder. But as you can see, it looks great with it on there. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're looking for this piece to release around September of this year. And then for the first time ever, we're showing our Spider-Man Homecoming artifacts statue. That looks incredible. Yeah, just the all the texturing. We're still refining this piece, too. So what you see here is... Is, is still what I'd say a work in progress. We're still we're trying to get those textures even a little sharper on his face. Uh, so I would think probably by next year this piece will be releasing. Okay. And hopefully pre-orders will go up uh, later this year. 
And then for our comic book fans, we've got our Captain America Modern Myth Artifact Statue. Uh, this piece, you can take, put the shield from one arm to the other, so it kind of creates a different look yeah. uh, for, for this character. And we're planning on continuing that comic book artifacts line too. So not only will the Marvel movie line continue in artifact scale, but so will the comic book line. Oh, excellent news. Yeah. And then for our collector that maybe wants something a little higher end, we've got our fine art statue. Fine art statues are cold cast porcelain, individually numbered. Uh, our latest release will be Vision. He should be arriving at retailers uh, sometime late this month, early, well, we're already kind of late in this month, but yeah. probably by end of July, August, uh, he'll be arriving at, at retailers. He's, he has an edition size of 1,000 pieces. So it's one of those things, if you're interested in it, you probably want to jump onto it because we will never do a reproduction of our fine art statues. And then we've got, for the first time ever, we're showing Punisher. So this is our next, our newest uh, fine art statue. He'll come with a different set of arms, so you can actually display him with a handgun and a knife. Okay. And he comes with a different portrait, too, so it's a little older Punisher, a little more grizzled, you know, battle-damaged uh, Punisher for the second portrait. So it really creates, it's almost like having the ability to display two distinct pieces. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Okay. So, right. And we're going to keep that uh, momentum going. Our next fine art statue will be Storm. So, yeah, so we're bringing Storm into our Danger Room sessions, uh, a very popular line for our Fine Art Statue line. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to just a lot of uh, energy. Uh, you know, we put a lot of energy in all our lines, but, right. but for this line in particular, uh, uh, we're going to be trying to increase the rate of the statues that they, and, uh, as they come out. Because we, we've, we've been hitting about two pieces a year, three pieces a year. We want to get that to, m to more like four. So okay. yeah. Excellent. So a lot of cool things coming out yeah. uh, with that and with everything with Marvel. A lot of good stuff over here. Definitely. So for our DC line, we have a brand new uh, series. It's called Ikemen. Ikemen is a play on words, but it roughly means handsome man. Uh, and what we've done here is we've got Nightwing uh, as a very handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's in the same scale as Bashojo, so it'd be a great uh, compliment to put him next to Batwoman or Batgirl or right. Poison Ivy or whoever you may have in your Bashojo collection. Okay. So this is a line that's been getting a, a, a lot of uh, uh, interest and uh, we're happy. It's almost been a year since we made the announcement that we're actually showing the, the sculpt here. So right, this, this yeah. is the Paint Master and as you can see he's, uh, he's going to come with an additional portrait so you can display him with the mask on or with the mask off and he's kind of got his finger up like telling you, shh, don't tell anyone this is my <laughs> secret identity. Nice. But uh, yeah, you know, and uh, for the first time ever, we're showing the artwork for our next Ikemen statue, which is going to be Red Hood. Okay. So hopefully uh, collectors, fans are going to like this line. And it's going to be able to take off. Uh, we have, uh, you know, plans to, to do other characters, as you see here, uh, Tim, uh, Damien. It, it just depends on how the fans uh, receive this line and if it's popular and it's, it's uh, something that they want to see more of. We're definitely going to answer that call. Excellent. Very yeah. cool. And then for our Artifacts Plus line for DC, uh, we're kind of, we're done with the New 52, so we're going into Rebirth. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got our Superman Rebirth uh, statue, Artifacts uh, Plus statue. He'll be available this fall. We're also going to be doing Jonathan Kent and Crypto. It's a two-pack. Oh, that's so cool. And then we're also going to be doing Robin and Ace the Bat Hound. So <laughs> another two-pack uh, that'll be coming out. Uh, that one will be coming out uh, probably next year i believe it was okay. february that i saw so cool. and uh for uh another uh, s it was still part of our artifacts plus line but a different take yeah uh almost like a more realistic take we've got three very strong female characters here harley quinn you can see the regular edition which i believe you reviewed yes. and then we've got our san diego comic-con exclusive one here this one was limited to 500 pieces almost sold out and uh, it's a black and white deco and then we've got Poison Ivy. She'll be arriving later this year, around November, December. And then for the first time ever, we're showing our Catwoman. I, I believe we showed a render of it, but this is the first time people are able to see it in public fully sculpted. Oh, very cool. So this completes our, uh, uh, I think we're calling it the Mad Lovers line. Uh, these, and unlike some of the other Artifacts Plus uh, statues in the DC collection, these are permanently attached to the base. Right. So there's no magnets, but it's got a nice translucent plastic base, and I just think that the three of them come together very well. They do. They look really great together, and I was really happy with how the Harley turned out. Yeah. Catwoman and especially Poison Ivy yeah. 
look wonderful. I love the way the vines are kind of wrapped around yeah, her. I, I really like that. It's almost like a mixed media type thing. Yeah. Where where you get almost like a fabric like look with the with the leaves and then you've got you know the, the statue itself yes. so I th that really came together well and then for our DC Bashojo collection uh, we've got katana which will be arriving later this year and she'll have two different heads so you can display her like you see here or with her eyes whited out okay and then for the first time ever we're showing the sculpt for Supergirl our version two Supergirl and uh, we expect her to be available March of next year and. You can expect more DC announcements uh, in the coming months, too, for our Bashojo line. Okay, sounds great. Yeah. And then for for a first-time reveal ever, and we weren't sure we were going to be able to show this because, you know, there's so many restrictions in place for Justice League, but we're happy to unveil publicly for the first time our Justice League movie Artifacts Plus series. Wow, look at so that. we've got all the, the, all the players here. We've got Flash, Cyborg, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Aquaman. These will start to release uh, towards the end of this year, December, all the way into like March of next year. Again, Artifacts Plus Scale, one-tenth scale, fully assembled, ready to display right out of the box. And I believe these will have magnets uh, on the feet. Okay. And uh, uh, we're going with a slimmer, smaller base, which I'll show you in a moment with our DC TV series. Okay. So I believe the Justice League will have that same type of base treatment. Okay, great. Yeah. And th these are the DC... Uh, uh, Artifacts Plus uh, TV series statues that I was talking about. We've got Gotham with uh, James Gordon and Oswald uh, Cobblepot. Those will be coming out uh, later this year, early next year actually. It okay. looks like they've been pushed back a bit. For the first time ever, we're showing Bruce Wayne and Alfred uh, Pennyworth. That's going to be a two-pack. Uh, Arrow will be uh, arriving in stores uh, around September. Of this year, then we've got Flash, which he's going to follow shortly after. Okay. We've got Reverse Flash that's uh, scheduled to arrive at the end of this year, and his eyes actually light up. Oh, so, really? yeah, oh, that's wow. going to be a cool feature. And then for the first time ever, we're showing our Supergirl oh, Artifacts Plus, and she comes with uh, three sets of arms, so you can do well three distinct poses with yeah. her. Yeah. Those are looking really great. Yeah. It's kind of cool seeing like the the movie universe and the TV universe being done in that Artifacts Plus style. And it's it's real exciting to see how our sculptors are really pushing those actor likenesses now, yeah. and um, just some of the coloring techniques, especially with the flesh tones. I, I, it's real exciting to see see this happen. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue this line uh, moving forward. And then we've got uh, some DC Artifacts uh, statues. This is our Killing Joke Second Edition. Uh, the first edition had lights and sound uh, sold out, and we knew that people wanted to get their hands on it, so we changed it up a bit, gave it a new base, and this is our second edition, which is available now. Okay. And then our Wonder Woman artifact statue, who's been a huge hit. Uh, all our pre-orders are totally sold out on wow. this piece. Yeah, it, it's just been just, uh, we sold out the show, too. She's gorgeous yeah. looking. It came out really well, and again, what I was talking about with those facial uh, portraits and the painting, yeah. uh, really just just pushing what we what we do as a company to just create a more realistic looking product. Excellent, very cool. A lot of great stuff with DC here as well. Definitely. So for our Star Wars line, we've got plenty of new characters coming out. Uh, we're showing publicly for the first time uh, fully painted and, and as an early prototype, our first order Stormtrooper FN2199. What you see here is kind of a mashup. That's not really accurate the way we have him displayed because yeah. we have Finn's bloody helmet on FN2199. <laughs> We're just trying to show what, what actually you get in the package. So basically what you get is you get enough pieces to create one statue, and that would be FN2199. Then you get two accessory pieces. You get the bloody helmet, and then you get Finn's head. Oh, so okay. if you have a, let's say, the Storm, uh, First Order Stormtrooper 2-pack or a single pack, you can put those uh, those heads or helmets on wow. those characters to create a whole new character. That is really cool and very creative. Yeah, that's, so well, that's what's happening here. Also, FN 202199, he'll have the baton. It can be displayed as you see here, or it'll open up so the, the actual prongs will be out. Yeah. yeah. So expect that to be available towards the end of this year. Uh, I think pre-orders will probably open up after Force Friday, which is September 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And the same will hold true for Poe, Dameron, and the BB-8 two-pack. Um, first time we're doing Poe, and then this BB-8 is unique because it has the fl the hand coming out with the flames. Uh, the yeah, up. yeah, flames <laughs> thumb up. So that's how it differs from our BB-8 that was included in the three-pack that you see above uh, FN-2199. So we're, we're shooting for an October release date, fall release. 
I'm thinking pre-orders will probably open up sometime after Force Friday. Okay. Uh, Ray and Finn two pack are available now. Uh, if if not, you know, if it's not showing up at your your retailers now, then probably August sometime. Um, and this piece comes with multiple parts, so you can do a variety of different poses. You can have Ray or Finn with a lightsaber, uh, Ray as you see here with her staff, or Finn with the gun that you see there. Very cool. And then we also have another two pack, Han Solo and Chewbacca two pack. So as you can see here, Han and Chewie, they're in fixed poses, but first time that we've done Han and Chewie uh, from Force Awakens. And then another two pack coming out is gonna be our first order Snow Trooper and Flame Trooper. And as you can guess, the flame is what gets everyone's attention. As I've joked, you know, numerous times, it's so big you, it needs its own stand. Yeah. So, um, just really impressive piece. Make sure you have a lot of shelf space for this one. We're looking at an August, September release date for this one, and uh, it'll come with different pieces so you can display the snowtrooper with a pauldron, the shoulder pauldron, on or off. And of course, the flame. You, if it's too big for your display cabinet, you don't need to display it with right. the flame. So yeah. yeah, it can just be moved out Definitely. and you can just display them with just yeah. holding the gun. Yeah, okay, for sure. Cool. And then for um, probably one of our most requested characters for Artifacts Plus is Emperor Palpatine. Nice. And, and if you look real closely, the Emperor's missing a finger. It looks like oh he's no. having a bad day there. <laughs> uh, this is our paint master. He's traveled around the world, so yeah. that it tends to happen. But I can, can guarantee you that our final pr product will have all fingers intact and the hood will be connected on the top. Again, this is just a paint master. Right. Uh, and Emperor can be removed from his throne, and we're looking at a, a January 2018 release date for the Emperor. Excellent. Uh, we've got our Darth Vader from A New Hope artifacts and our Kylo Ren artifacts. Uh, again, the Kylo Ren has a light-up lightsaber. And then for Rogue One, these are all the pieces that we've released so far. We've got our Death Trooper artifacts, our Shore Trooper uh, two-pack, Artifacts Plus. The Death Trooper 2-pack is probably the newest item from Rogue One that's going to be arriving at retailers end of this month, uh, August. And again, multiple pieces, so you can do a variety of different poses. Right. There'll be four distinct poses that you can do with all the included pieces. Cool. And then our K2SO, what's unique about this piece is that he has light-up eyes. So yeah. something that we generally are, haven't offered a lot of in Artifacts Plus, but as I mentioned also, we're going to be doing that with the reverse flash. Right. So it's kind of cool to see, it to, to, you know, to add lights to these smaller statues. Oh, absolutely. And it really brings characters like K2SO al alive, you know. They, they're, they've got those light-up eyes, you know, in the film. So seeing it done in the statue yeah. is so cool. Hopefully we'll be able to integrate that in more ways uh, moving ahead. Yeah, very cool. And then finally here, we've got our Obi-Wan Kenobi Artifacts uh, Plus. He'll be available this fall. And as I've joked uh, on a few occasions, it's basically buy the robe, get the figure for free. Because everyone wants the robe. That's yeah. what they're gunning for. Yeah. You know, the defeated robe with the lightsaber. But just a really cool uh, accessory that we've been able to add. Uh, Obi-Wan will have a hood that can go up or down. Right now it's down, as you can see there. Yeah. Looking great. And uh, I can't say anything in particular, but we'll be doing product for The Last Jedi. Oh, so nice. expect Artifacts and Artifacts Plus. I'm not sure what type of announcements, if any, we'll have ready for Force Friday. But in the coming months, as we head into fall and winter, or maybe even Toy Fair time, we'll have plenty to show the public for our Last Jedi line. Fantastic news right there. Yeah, definitely. So just a lot of momentum, energy, in all our lines, of course, but Star Wars especially, with the new film coming out later this year. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So for our popular Bashojo line, we've, d we've had Marvel, DC, video game characters in it. Now we're bringing horror icons into to the fold. Uh, it started out with Freddy and Jason. They were so popular, we did a second run on that. We did change it up a bit. The bases are different. The first run had a plastic base with a metal strip below it because there's magnets in the feet. Right. This run has just a metal base to begin with, so you get a much okay. better uh, retention of those magnets. Gotcha. There's no plastic to really block the magnetism. And also the box will have different uh, artwork. And the reason we're doing that is we know collectors uh, some of them feel that th these are investments, right. and, and if you just keep doing multiple runs of a particular piece, that's going to bring down the value. So we want to be able to offer this to maybe someone who's missed it the first time around, but the people that got it the first time around know that they, they got the first run. Very cool. So after uh, Freddy and Jason, we released Edward Scissorhands, Chucky and Tiffany, and our newest annou announcement is Ash Williams from Evil Dead 2. Very 
and I've just seen the response online, uh, just tremendous. I, I, I think Bruce Campbell it has his own, you know, really dedicated fan base. So yeah. anything that, that comes out with, 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 you know, his signature look yeah. on it, uh, people just go crazy about. Definitely not, uh, uh, you know, a typical take on the Ash character. Right, it's right. the female version of her, what we've done with the other characters, but it still has the humor and, and the look and the props of, of Ash Williams. Of course, yeah, very cool. And we'll also be doing Hell, Hellraiser 3 uh, Pinhead. So really? we're still working, yeah, we're still working on the concept for that. Hopefully by New York uh, Comic Con we'll be able to show something. And then for horror fans that maybe want something a little more realistic looking, we've got our Jason Voorhees artifact statue. He comes with different uh, arm attachments, so you can pose them as you see here with the hatchet or a machete. Nice. And we'll also be doing in that same scale and style Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Masters. Very cool. So hopefully we'll be able to build out that uh, artifacts line of horror icons too. Um, not just Bishojo style, but more realistic movie type representations. Definitely. And then for uh, uh, our movie uh, Bushojo line, we've got our bride from Kill Bill. She's out at retailers now. And then for the first time ever, we're showing our paint master for Chun Li. This is her battle dress costume. Uh, we expect her to be available early next year. And then we're showing a photo of the early sculpt for Cami. Nice. This is her alpha costume, uh, looking at springtime of next year. And then we're gonna be actually tackling Resident Evil Vendetta, which is an animated CGI film. Uh, it's going to be releasing soon, I believe, of uh, the film. We're going to be doing two artifact statues, Leon and uh, the name escapes me. The other character in uh, uh, the, the main... The Chris male. Redfield? Is that who it's Chris? Chris? Yes, yeah. it's Chris Redfield yeah. and Leon. So nice. we're going to be doing those two in artifact scale. It looks a little small here because we just printed this out real quickly to show it off, right. but it'll be that 1-6 scale. Okay, great. Yeah. And uh, we've got more stuff in the works for uh, horror and video games and even movies. So uh, hopefully uh, by New York Comic Con, New York Toy Fair, I'll have more announcements for you. Excellent. Well, you, hey, you have a ton of great things on display here. A lot of new reveals, a lot of really exciting stuff. So as always, I want to thank you for taking the time to walk us through all of it. We really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, coming by the booth, saying hi and spending some time with us. It's always great to talk to your viewers. Excellent. Uh, if anyone wants to find out more about our products, you can follow us on Facebook. It's simply Kotobukiya. Um, if you want to pre-order any of the items, just go to kotous.com. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Dan. And there you guys go, a look at what Kotobukiya has on display at the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2017. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter, or you can subscribe for more videos on forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com.